Hi everyone and welcome back to Elite Rugby SNC. My name is Coach Kieran and I really appreciate you joining me again today. Today we have another awesome video installed for you to take your game to the next level. But before we get into the nitty gritty and of this video, you know, make sure that you go subscribe, like and hit that alert button so you never miss a video on here at Elite Rugby SNC. And if you do like what you see, visit our Instagram page and, you know, go listen to our podcast. We have a bunch of free content out there that we know you can get a lot out of. At Elite Rugby SNC, we often get asked, what are the best exercises to increase my tackling ability, to increase my jump height in line outs, to make me kick the ball further? These are common questions we get asked. So what we're going to start doing is create, creating videos like this one you're watching today and provide you with exercises that can help improve areas of your game to help you to become a beast and take your game to the next level. The three exercises I will talk about today can be used in the gym as accessory movements to help build strength, resilience, and robustness, or they can be used prior to field training to make sure that you're primed and ready to be a beast at training. The three exercises I'm gonna talk about are highly underrated exercises, and we think all rugby athletes should have them in their SNC programs throughout the year, and then progress on from them as well. That might be another video after this one as well, show you the progressions of these three exercises. Exercise number one, we have the dumbbell prone press. The goal of this exercise is to build a strong upper back and shoulders, which is essential for scrummaging, tackling, and cleaning out. We wanna focus on going through the full range of movement in this exercise. So we wanna go all the way up you know, above the head. And then we want to come all the way back down, creating that nice W and holding that W shape for a good, for around one to two seconds before then going into the next rep. This is an exercise you need to start off using, you know, one to two kilos uh, dumbbells because it is pretty hard. Like I can't underestimate how actually hard and challenging this exercise is. So make sure that you start off with that lighter weight and slowly build the weight up over the coming weeks and months. We recommend you start off with 10 reps, three sets, and slowly increase um, the weight, but you sort of just wanna be around that 10 to 12 rep range and nothing more than three sets at all. So remember, get that full range, take it slow and controlled and slowly build the weight up over the coming weeks and months. Exercise number two, a four-way band isometric neck hold. So the goal of this exercise is to build isometric strength in the neck muscles in four different directions. Our necks must be strong to withstand collisions, impacts, and the impacts of scrums in rugby. Force can come at any direction in rugby, so our necks must be strong to withstand that force. We want to focus on keeping your neck in a neutral position while under tension. Make sure that you walk out to resistance that is challenging, but you can keep that neutral neck position the whole time. So you see in that video that I'm not leaning forward or leaning too much to the side. I'm staying nice and aligned with my body. We recommend you do 10 seconds each way and three sets using a light moderate resistance band. In the video, I'm using a green rogue resistance band if you do um, want to go out there and purchase one. But around 10 seconds, trying to build up to around 20 seconds and just going from there team. So remember, keep a neutral neck position, find a comfortable but challenging resistance and make sure that make sure that you train all four ways of your neck muscles. The final exercise we're gonna talk about today is the cross brace plank. The goal of this exercise is to build a strong trunk, also known as core, for the demands of rugby, you know, break down, scrummaging, pass and kicking, but also for running, change of direction and sprinting as well. The exercise is forcing you to have opposite limbs on the ground with the other limbs off the ground. You need to focus on staying square and not leaning to one side or the other. This is a fantastic exercise that will challenge you a lot more compared to just your normal traditional plank. We recommend 20 seconds each side by three sets, and you can slowly increase the time and duration over the coming weeks and months, but slowly increase it, you know, by five seconds each week or every two weeks. If you can hold this exercise for around 45 seconds both sides, you're really strong. After that, start adding some weight onto your hips to increase the difficulty of this exercise. So remember to stay square during this movement, control your breathing as well, 
and make sure that you're keeping a nice flat surface, which means you're not leaning to one side more than the other. The three exercises I've talked about today can be used in the gym as accessory movements, you know, to build strength, resilience, and robustness, or they can be used prior to your field training to make sure that you're primed and ready to be a beast out at training. These exercises, again, they're highly underrated exercises, and we think all rugby athletes should be incorporating them into the SNC programs throughout the year. We recommend that you try these exercises to take your game to the next level. So thanks very much for watching this video. It's been awesome to have you here today at Elite Rugby SNC. Make sure that you subscribe, like, and hit that alert button so you never miss a video here again. And if you like what you see, like I said, go visit our Instagram page. Go listen to our podcast as well. Thanks again, team, for joining me um, today. I'll see you next time.